Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in this video, I'll be sharing one of latest Gen Z interview experience with all of you. So if any one of you who is going to appear for your Gen Z uh, interview very soon or in the upcoming future, this video is going to be very helpful for you. I will be trying to cover all the questions that were asked to the candidate okay as they shared with me because you know most of the like very two or three questions they forgot what were asked but whatever questions they have shared with me i have tried to create this interview experience video on that and in this video i will not be just sharing the questions with you i will also be telling you how you can answer them and some tips to answer those types of questions so i just want one thing from you guys that if you found this video helpful please write the word helpful in the comment box so that if there is a lot of helpful comments in this video i will get to know that many of you are preparing for your interview experiences and i will post more videos related to your cognizant gen c interview experience so without wasting any time let's get started with today's video but before that if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos for all of you also there is a complete playlist on my channels related to cognizant prep if you will go uh, down in this playlist you will see i have already shared many interview experiences related to gen c and your tr hr okay and your topic related uh, topic related videos also is there okay related to interview preparation so this playlist is a must check for all of you who are going to prepare for your interview experience uh, interviews so let's get started with the first question so let's start with the first question so as always the first question is going to be tell me about yourself or introduce yourself okay so i have taken one sample answer but i would highly recommend you that you prepare your own customized introduction because that is going to be super helpful okay and that tells relevant data according to you so let's see the answer sure I am and you have to tell your name and I recently graduated with a degree and you have to mention your field during my studies I develop a strong foundation in uh, then you have can you can mention technologies or your skill set like you know whatever technologies you know I have worked on projects related to then you have to mention details about your projects I am excited to start my career and contributing my skills to a dynamic organization like yours now see there are few things that you have to take care while speaking your introduction it should have your educational details okay if your percentage or cgp is not good enough to showcase you can skip that but at least uh, from where you have done your schooling like 10th and 12th and your graduation okay all of that you can mention apart from that uh, if possible try to speak about projects because then they will get to know what technologies you know and based on that they will ask questions for forward okay and also include your skill set details okay and if you have done any extra curriculars make sure to include that so based on these things you should prepare your uh, introduction okay and as i said this is just a very sample uh, basic template i have taken don't use this at least uh, try to create one customized for you okay let's move on to the next question that was asked so uh, see the candidate uh, actually has chosen class uh, c sharp cluster actually which was cluster 3 okay so they also got question on class uh, c sharp also so this tells us that okay based on your clusters also the questions can be asked let's see the question that was asked it was a basic coding question that was asked to them write a c sharp program to check if a given number is a palindrome or not so see on the screen i have a code which is displaying that if a given number is palindrome or not now uh, see uh, here what is happening is we are taking a is palindrome function okay and then we are what we are doing is we are creating a temporary variable where num is there and then we are storing zero okay in the reverse variable and then remainder basically what is a palindrome see uh, number is a palindrome if for example i will tell you if we have a number one two one this is a palindrome because from this side also you read and this side also you read it is same okay so how can you check if a number is palindrome you will simply reverse it okay so this is your original number okay original number and this is your reverse number so if original number matches the reverse number that is the logic that we are following here then you you can consider your uh, number is a palindrome okay so i'm not diving deep into the code because all the c sharp folks can easily understand what is the code my main goal of this video is that you should get the interview experience of the recent candidate okay okay so now moving forward to the next question okay now so project based questions were also asked okay let's see the question that was asked can you describe the project you worked on and technologies you used okay so see how can you answer this question so first of all you can mention your project name okay if it is a web development project machine learning data science whatever project it is you should always have a name for, for your project okay next is overview okay explain what project was about example if it is a web application then you have to tell what it what is the purpose that it is serving the, if it is a desktop application then you have to mention about that if it is an automation tool then you can explain about the basic thing okay not too in detail answer okay like you have to speak like you know 
uh, in a proper way you should not be keep on speaking only that they don't get the time to ask next question okay like speak for some like 30 to 40 seconds and then take a pause so if they want to ask anything else they can ask okay next is your technology is used so whatever technology that you have used in your project you have to mention that your contribution in the project because you know majority of the project in a college level are team based so if there is uh, if it is a team based project then you can mention exactly what you have done in that project okay what are the challenges that you faced in your team and how you solve them and if it is an individual project then nothing like it okay that is the best then you can you know everything about it right so you can mention anything that you feel uh, which was like good to showcase okay so you can tell that next is your outcome explain how the project was successful or help the team okay like what purpose that it is serving and what uh, help it made you like okay like for example you can say by creating this project i learned so and so technologies okay and it gave me a hands on experience with this technology i was trying to learn this technology from long but just following tutorials was not giving me hands on experience so after creating this project i got the actual experience hands on experience was the same okay so yeah this was about project based question next question was related to oops and hr questions so three to four hr questions were asked and uh, one or two oops question were asked guys if you don't know i already have created one dedicated video for your uh, oops preparation okay make sure to check that because i have covered in detail okay about all the pillars of oops how can you answer if you are asked question separately on encapsulation then just one line answer won't be sufficient okay so i have given you exact answers in that video and uh, if you are asked a general question that explain the four pillars of the oops then how you have to answer that okay okay so let's see the answer for this question explain the four pillars of the oops okay we have different pillars like encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism encapsulation is wrapping data and code together in a single unit that is class abstraction is hiding implementation details and showing only necessary functionalities inheritance is acquiring properties and behaviors from a base class and polymorphism that is the ability to use a function in multiple ways that is method overloading and method overwriting okay so this was our answer for the oops question let's move forward to the next set of questions that we have what are the type and difference types in c sharp okay again c sharp based question you can see you can answer uh, value value types store actual data like int float care bool struct and reference types which stores a reference to the memory location that is string class array okay Moving on, why do you want to join Cognizant? So you can answer, Cognizant is known for its innovation and cutting edge technologies. It provides great career growth and opportunities to its employees. Companies culture and work life balance are very appealing and I want to work for such a company. Working at Cognizant will allow me to improve my skill sets in C Sharp, .NET, software development, all of this. Okay, so you can answer it in this way. Moving forward. Okay, so one sorting based algorithm uh, question was asked. Okay. Write a program to implement bubble sort in C++. Sometimes you can also, majority of the questions comes around binary, uh, okay, binary search. Okay, so also prepare about that also. Like how you will perform a searching operation on a binary, using binary search algorithm, okay. So yeah, I have a like program here, bubble sort related to bubble sort basically. Uh, so see in bubble sort, you will create a function, you will have two for loops and then you will say basically how bubble sort works is, for example, if you will have a uh, like, you know, this one array as something like four three five two and one something like that okay so what it will do is it will first check the two elements okay if these two elements are in correct order not so it is not so see four is greater than c so first it will swap these two and make it proper then it will move on to the next two elements okay so if they are proper it will just move to the next two okay so in this way bubble sort works it will basically swap two elements at every point and then finally we will get the like you know mm, sorted array so that is why we are using for two for loops one is for the entire like uh, like entire uh, traversal of the array and one is for swapping purpose and amongst the elements okay so yeah the code is on your screen uh, please pause the video and have a look okay i am not going deep into it let's cover the next question that we have okay so c++ conceptual questions were also asked because the candidate mentioned in their introduction that they have experience with c++ okay let's see the question that can arise explain the difference between struct and class in c++ so see struct by default members are public and used for simple data structures whereas class by default members are private used for complex data and uh, complex objects and encapsulation so guys the tip here that you know you might also get a question like this okay that uh, you don't have any answer about okay but see there is no way that if you have done your graduation and you don't know about structures and classes right there is very less probability i'm telling you okay the chances can be you are from a different background like electric or something then also i and i know that you know you study this uh, c plus plus c and all in your first first year or somewhere right 
So these basic things you will be aware, right? So try to formulate the answer even though you don't know okay? and try to be confident and that will solve your problem because you know, sometimes interviewers don't even focus on your answers. They just focus that are you stuck while giving answer or not? Okay, if you are continuously saying that they will feel that, okay, yeah, you know the answer, okay, they will not focus on what exactly you are saying. So, if this kind of difference is asked, you can even say that what is the structure and what is class also, okay, because see, these are basic things, right, you will know what is a class and what is a structure. So, just mention that only instead of being totally silent and saying no, okay, so this is one of the tips that I want to give you. Okay, next is your, what are your strengths and weaknesses, okay. Let's see how can you answer this one. So you have to one tip for you is pick a strength that aligns with the job and weakness that you are improving and your weakness should not show that you know it is going to impact your work. Let's see the answer for this. I have a strong problem solving the skills and ability to learn quickly in my project. I successfully optimized the database queries which improved system performance by 30%. Next up you, we have is your weakness. I used to struggle with public speaking but I'm improving by participating in group discussion and presentations. Okay. So this is your one of the HR round questions, okay? And this is a very most like most commonly asked question. So be prepared about that. Okay, but one more HR based question says, which is uh, why do you want to join Cognizant? So the tip for this is you have to show your enthusiasm and knowledge about the company, okay? You just have to show that you are the best for this job, okay? For, to them, and don't be over excited also, okay? Uh, you have to uh, like you have to sound professional. Don't be too excited because you have to understand, okay? Uh, that professional decorum also. See, one of the sample answers that you have to mention, Cognizant is a leading company in IT services and has a strong focus on innovation and digital transformation. It provides excellent career growth opportunities and exposure to real world projects. I am excited to contribute my skills in, uh, if you see, I would not suggest telling the exact skill set, but if you want, you can mention it. Okay. So I would, I would be like, uh, I am excited to contribute my skill set in this company and the role or whatever and problem solving while learning from experienced professionals okay so you can answer in some some of this way okay moving on where do you see yourself in five years so you can answer it in this way align your answer uh, with the growth in the company basically let's see the answer in five years i miss i see myself as a skilled software engineer leading projects and mentoring juniors i want to continuously learn new technologies and contribute to the impactful solutions at cognizant okay Hope you have found it helpful and if you have found it helpful guys, please write helpful word in the comment section because with that I get to know how many of you are going to attempt your like interviews and if it is helpful for you, I will post more videos related to this. Okay. So yeah. So that's all for today guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. You can ask your queries in the Instagram DM as well. And if you need any content, you can request it on your on our Telegram channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates. I regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video.